it is freezing out there. This has got to be the coldest winter in California history. They say it's 64 degrees. With the wind chill factor, that's down to 62. It was so cold last night, I would have slept with a woman. There you go. That makes some nice hot chili to warm your innards on a cold day. Uh, uh. <coughs> 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 Come on, eat, eat. You don't want to come down with what I got. <laughs> here to protect the rights of the unprotected. Yeah. Yeah. Thou shalt not wear or eat animals. That's right, yeah. It's the raccoon and his eco-warriors. They've been terrorizing schools all over the city. Attack the enemies of animals! Yeah. Death to the raccoon. It's Tiffany's brother. Kill Tiffany's brother. There he is! Get him! <gasps> The best movie of the year. It had it all. Action, pathos, greed, humor, and two superstars in the greatest movie of all times. Star Wars. No, Beavis and Butthead. <laughs> oh, and the girls. C'est magnifique. Oh, I just love that cartoon cleavage. Boing. <laughs> Jack, you're being asinine. <laughs> You said ass. <laughs> Where's Ross? He bit Amber on the arm and then ran off. We have to get him his shots. Where is the little viper? Why ask us? He's 10. He's no longer our business. Well, where do 10 year old boys go after school? I don't know. I do. We were all watching Beavis and Butthead. You want to go upstairs? Jack, stop acting crass. <laughs> you said ass. <laughs> Your creepazoid son and his liberal fascist friends are the raccoon and the eco-warriors that have been spray-painting people all over the city. Haven't you heard about them? <laughs> it's all over the news. Don't you guys watch the 11 o'clock news? Monday, Seinfeld. Tuesday, Seinfeld. Wednesday, Wednesday Thursday, Thursday, Friday, Friday cheers. cheers. Are you two cracking up? She, she said, said crack. crack. <laughs> Quick, turn on the TV. Yeah. Cheers, 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 cheers. Well, it's not 11 o'clock, it's 6 o'clock. Ricky, Ricky Lake, Lake, Ricky, Ricky Lake, Lake, Ricky Lake, Ricky Lake. <laughs> here with the animal activist leader who until today was only known as the great raccoon but the true identity of this heroic young man who protects our little animals has now been revealed as ross malloy i sprayed my sister's leather jacket <laughs> don't be happy for him he's nothing but a little vandal you be careful what you say about ross he's on the news He's famous. Yeah. yeah. TV said he was good. TV knows a lot more about kids than we do. It's on the news. The news wouldn't lie. Does the name Richard Jewell ring a bell? Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, he's the guy that bombed the Olympic Games. <laughs> no, Daddy, he didn't bomb the Olympic Games. The news was wrong about Richard Jewell. An innocent man's life destroyed by the press? I don't know. I still think he did it. <laughs> that was the general perception. We'd be nuts to disagree. Yeah. I'll get it. <clears throat> Telegram. Oh, thanks. Huh. Hold on. Watch the leak. It's filled with dog vomit. <laughs> You are invited to celebrate the success of the Young Raccoons Animal Rights Protest at the home of Kim Basinger and Alec Baldwin! Kim Basinger! Oh, you hate them! Oh, not anymore. <laughs> I mean, I, I wouldn't spend seven dollars to see either of them in a movie, but I'm not too proud to eat their onion dip. <laughs> For me, ruined my jacket, which, by the way, was vinyl. Hey, vinyl doesn't make a good story, baby. What you got there, son? Say, that is a good-looking bunny. It's wearing makeup, Dad. The raccoons broke into a lab that test cosmetics on little bunnies. Oh, well, she looks very nice. What brand is that? Make her cry. I want to see if that mascara is what. Uh, what are you gonna do with it, son? I'm gonna make sure it has a better life. Bravo. And, and, I also saved some rats. Well, just where do you plan on keeping the ugly, disease-ridden little things? <laughs> Say, uh, how about that black plague, huh? <laughs> this is nice, Jack. I haven't itched this much since I gave a jump to Garfield's girlfriend. <laughs> They're making me sick, Jack. I don't know why. They have such beautiful names. Tuberculosis, diphtheria. <laughs> and the quiet one must be scleroderma. <laughs> I have to live with rats because of some little creep crusader. He is not a little creep. The news said Ross was a hero, so that makes him a hero. And a lot of stars agree with him. Oh, stars! There's nothing like saving the world over a $27 pizza at Spago's. <laughs> the opinions I value most are from those deep-thinking rock stars. People have the decency to put an animal to sleep when it's too old and miserable. Well, why don't they have the same compassion when it comes to aging rock bands? <laughs> Where is Mick Jagger's bullet? <laughs> Someone stop the eagles! Hey, old rock guys, if you ever find yourself sober in your own shadow, don't make music! Oh, what about Kiss? They still rock. They make fat and bald really work. Kiss, they're lucky they made a comeback because the only thing Gene Simmons would be good for is standing on a corner washing your windshield with his tongue. <laughs> While I'm at it, Cheryl Crow, clean up a little and learn how to cook. Because, baby, girls don't rock. <laughs> Mr. Floppy, are you done? I guess. <laughs> well, I think you're underestimating Ross's contribution here. You think about it for a minute. If Ross didn't save these rats, they'd be dead right now. Or in somebody's corn dog. <laughs> well, maybe you're right. Maybe I'm being too hard on these rats. In truth, I'd rather be in this basement with them than with Kiss. Sure, the rats leave duty everywhere, but at least they don't make an album out of it. Hey, Dad. I'm leaving the bunny down here, too. Mm hmm How come? Because it might have a disease. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Mama! It looks like you can't... <laughs> Jack, uh, does she look as good to you as she does to me? Yep. <laughs> Jack, uh, could you go to the store and get us bunnies some gum? And, uh, Jack, take your time. Oh, say, I've got some gum right here, Mr. Flut. 
Oh. <laughs> I get it. Uh, don't do anything I wouldn't do. You mean like satisfier? <laughs> Be gentle with me. That way only one of us will get hurt. Some stinking party. The nerve of that Kim Basinger and Alec Baldwin to invite us to a party, then not show up, but instead leave life-size cutouts of themselves for us to stare at. No, Dad, that was them. <laughs> and at their most charming best. Did you see Betty White? Is she like a hundred or Man. what? <laughs> no, that wasn't Betty White. That was Gene Simmons of Kiss. Well, that clears that up. I thought Betty White was too much of a lady to lick her own Adam's apple. I have an announcement. From now on, we are all vegetarians. No more meat. I am about loving animals, not killing them. We did not kill the animal. The supermarket killed the animal. <laughs> and I, for one, feel terrible about it. Yeah, we love animals. We respect animals. On drumstick, Dad? Oh, thanks. There you go. I just wish the people would stop, you know, acting like barbarians at all. Well, I guess that wish won't come true. <laughs> oh, 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 no, guys. We're irritating the great raccoon. Everybody, be quiet. I hear someone crying. No, it's not. <laughs> then you're the only one crying. No, I'm getting an award for my work saving animals. But if I can't get my own family to stop eating meat, then I'm not accepting the award. <laughs> or the $10,000 prize that goes with it. <laughs> Russ, we're being good. No, I need to know that nobody in my family will ever eat an animal. Yuck, I would never eat an animal. <laughs> what do you think steak is? It comes from a cow. A moo cow? <laughs> run, steak, run! Run! Oh my God, it's not moving. It's not breathing. It... Well, I've got greedy and dopey. How about you, Bones? Are you with me? No. I don't eat. But if I did, I'd like to think I could eat whatever I want. Yeah, but then we won't get the $10,000. The whole family or nothing? Uh, let me see if I can handle this, sweetheart. Go. Throw her out. She's a pain in the neck. You're out of the family. <laughs> you know, I think I could get used to having only two kids. Of course, I might have made one different choice. I guess I'm the keeper. <laughs> I love you, Dad. Wow. Hey, what are those shoes made of? Come here and bend over. You can test them yourself. We are wearing canvas shoes, and Ross is proud of us. This house is a metaphor for society. You want to dumb that down for us a little bit, sweetheart? <laughs> yeah. We are so weak-willed as a family or as a nation that will follow any do-gooder crusader who can't wait to tell us how to live our lives. Whatever happened to the America that minded its own business? I'm not talking about foreign policy, mind you. I mean, somebody has to tell those backward people how to live. <laughs> but nobody is going to tell me how to live. Well, let the politically correct sort through their trash. 
I'll be out on the interstate looking for electric cars to run off the road. Well, if that's her idea of dumbing things down, she's not as smart as I thought she was. I have a surprise for you. Oh, oh my God, I think so. Could be anything. Could be a T-bone. <laughs> it's lasagna. A Linda McCartney lasagna. And remember, she wouldn't put the fine name of Linda McCartney on it if it weren't good. <laughs> Oh. It's a note. It's from Paul. Someone please help me. She won't let me eat meat. I'm as weak as me, Kitty. She, she killed me music and now me. All I want before I die is to eat a hamburger and write one more decent song. John's the lucky one. He's free of pain and Yoko. <laughs> well, Mr. Floppy, how was she? Kiss and tell, Jack. But since I didn't kiss her, I can tell you. I did it all, I did it good, and I lasted longer than the Energizer Bunny. And I suppose you did it all right in front of the rats. It's exciting letting them watch. When they're chanting your name, you forget the pain and just go for it. <laughs> Diphtheria was particularly moved. She got so excited, she took a bite out of tuberculosis. Well, glad you're all nice and satisfied. But what about me? Want me to go out for a gum jack? <laughs> No, not that. I'm talking about meat. I need meat. I need a hamburger. I don't know. Maybe it is wrong. Maybe we shouldn't be eating the animals. That's what Kim Basinger thinks. You know, in the Bible, it says that people have dominion over the animals, and then Americans have dominion over all the other lesser people. <laughs> I believe it's in the book of genocide. <laughs> yes. Floppy, I see the light now. I love meat as much as sex. It's certainly a lot cheaper than sex. And it doesn't get mad when you pour ketchup on it. <laughs> and you can cut the fat right off. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't have to say, I love you. Although with meat, it's true. And it doesn't whine if you don't finish it. No. And it doesn't care if you're watching TV when you're having it. <laughs> gets better with age. <laughs> now go get yourself a piece of meat. I'll do it. And I catch the lights on the uh, way out. <laughs> I got to do my business. <laughs> hey rats, wake up. It's show time. <laughs> Oh, baby, 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 baby. What are you saying, boy? Are you saying the barn's on fire and little Timmy is trapped in the well? Are you saying there's a tornado coming? No, Dad, he's saying Ross is in the closet. My son is gay? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Jasper said he meant the cupboard. Oh. Uh-huh. All right, come on out of there. Okay, you got me. I'm sorry. I tried to be a vegetarian. I know it's right, but I was just too weak to do it. <laughs> hey. Like most zealots, you found that it was more important to convince somebody else. Dad, 
I can't accept the award. Or the $10,000. No, no, son, let's not be hasty now. Let's, let's, uh, let's just forget about the money, and most importantly, let's think about all those people who believe in the raccoon. Don't they deserve to hold on to that false hope? I mean, isn't the message more important than the truth? But then I'm just a hypocrite. Yes. <laughs> but don't say that like it's a bad thing. I mean, think of all those evangelists that have been caught with their fingers in the poor people's box. That doesn't mean that their message is wrong, now does it? I think it does. <laughs> okay, let's forget that one. Look, son, I know being a hypocrite isn't easy. But once you let go of that false idea of ever holding on to any vestige of your integrity, well, it gets easier and easier. You know how many times I've told your mother, I love you? I don't even hear myself say it anymore. <laughs> believe me, it takes guts not to have the guts to stand up for what you believe in. Pride, integrity, self-respect. That's for losers. $10,000 for doing something you don't even believe in? <laughs> well, that's cool. You're the best, Dad. Do you mean it? No. But you said it like you did. And that's my little hypocrite. <laughs> What's he saying now, son? He said, what's with all the hugging? This isn't Cosby. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Nothing satisfies like meat. <laughs> I love the smell of a good cigar. And what a sexy gun. <laughs> Remember, America, if it's bad for you, it must be good. <laughs> <laughs>